All right, folks. So today we have something that's a little bit unexpected. It's an announcement from Yesu for three new mobile rigs. Let's take a look and see what's going on. All right, taking a look at this uh, advertisement from Gigaparts. I'll have links where you can check this out below. Uh, the first one we have is the Yesu FT3165RASP. It's a 65 watt FM mobile transceiver. You can see it's priced at uh, 275 bucks, give or take. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see a little bit of information about this. And this one uh, is a two meter mobile transceiver. So it only does two meter, it doesn't do two meter and, and, uh, and 70 centimeters. But it says it's compact and it has a 65 watt power output that's selectable for 65 watts, 30 watts, and 5 watts. And it has an efficient cooling system. It uses their FACC, which is their funnel aired convention conductor wind tunnel. And I believe that's what they were using on the 500 as well. And it says it has a uh, five watts of loud audio for the speaker. And I guess that's a good thing because if you have this mounted in your vehicle, then uh, you'd be able to hear it nice and easy, especially driving on busy roads. Let's take a look at some of the features. It's got 250 memory channels with alphanumeric eight character labels, which is awesome. You can uh, work the radio from the uh, microphone. You can see up here from the microphone, this looks like the standard JC microphone that has the full keypad which is pretty handy and it has a nice clean interface and it looks like the speaker here is front firing, which is a pretty handy thing. Um, now there's some stuff that we're going to talk a little bit about really what the RASP is, but that is some new functionality that they call for like long range DX listening, I guess on UHF and VHF frequencies. And it's really for pulling uh, out lower uh, powered or lower weaker signals, which is a pretty handy thing. Not a whole lot of information on this particular one. Let's take a look at the second radio, which is the 3185 RSAP. And this one's an 85 watt uh, radio. This one's two meters as well, but it's got a nice big clean display. It has a little bit larger heat sinks that you can see on here. Kind of reminds me of the, I think it's the 2800 or the 2880 uh, for a little bit higher uh, wattage radio at the 85 watts. Um, I have a 2880 and I love it and I've had it for years and uh, it really gets out, especially with that kind of power. Let's come down here and see if there's anything that makes this a little bit different. This one has 85, 50 and 20 and five Watts. And I think it was priced around 300, yeah, $320. And it looks like these are going to be available before the end of November. So that's going to be coming up relatively soon. This has a couple of different features. This one has their primary memory group function, and that is when you have channels or frequencies that you use often, you can group those for better scanning and paying attention to those a little bit better. It also has this customized function list, and that's where you can take the menu, boil it down to the nine most used menu items that uh, you typically access, and then put them in a quick list. A little bit larger memory capacity, 221 memory channels. Other than that, this looks to be pretty similar to the last radio that we took a look at. Oh, down here it says uh, 10 NOAA weather broadcast channels with weather alert in the USA version, which is awesome. And then the last one, and I really like this radio. Let's zoom in on that thing. I think that thing is beautiful. And it kind of has that look that the newer mobile radios from Yesu have. Really uh, functional menu and buttoning system here and then you can see your two different bands and the the knobs on either side operate the different bands so you have vfo1 and vfo2 the buttons on the left operate vfo1 the buttons on the right operate uh, vfo2 which is pretty handy let's go ahead and exit out of this and of the ones they're announcing this is the one i'm most excited about now 420 dollars a little expensive I wish I could get my hands on the manual for this thing and see what the backs or the inputs that it has. But as you can see, information is quite limited, and that's probably because ASU doesn't want us speculating on what these radios can and can't do. But if you come down here, it has a little bit more information than the other ones. Um, it says the 150 RSAP provides true dual band operation with two different receivers on different bands or within the same band. And then you can do the VHF and VHF, UHF, UHF, VHF, UHF, and UHF, VHF, um, which is awesome. And it says the front panel is detachable. And by attaching the optional swing head, the flexible angle adjustment is possible to accommodate easy mobile operation. Fantastic. It says the power output is 55 watts on VHF and 50 on UHF, which while less than 85 is pretty good uh, and works quite well on a mobile radio. 
And it says it's got the heavy duty heat sink with the, uh, I can't say it, funnel air convention conductor. This one says the, um, the has two speakers, a front speaker in combination with a main body speaker provides a total of six watts of high quality audio, three on each one of those speakers. So again, I think this one's taken a page from the FTM 500, which is my current radio, which I love. Um, and then here it talks about the Super DX function. It says increases the, rece the receiver sensitivity and improves weak signal reception. The new ASP audio digital signal processing unit is also activated when the Super DX key is pressed. So keep that Super DX key pressed. I'm kind of kidding about that. You probably don't want that pressed when you're working stronger signals, but uh, I'm not sure because I haven't played around with this. And it has uh, similar uh, functions as the other radios and it says here it has a high resolution band scope. Up to 47 channels can be displayed with the band scope operation. Rotating the left dial knob and the frequency range can be centered at the signal where the marker, where the center marker is received. So that's uh, pretty handy. I always like when they have a band scope on these things. Now this one has a large capacity of memory channels, 1,103. And I wonder how they got to that number, but that's what it has. Uh, you can mute the secondary band, which is awesome. And everything else on here looks to be pretty standard. Anyhow, I really think that's going to wrap it up. I just wanted to break the news that these radios are coming. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching.